Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Grantham Town Save here in Football Manager 23. Where it is the off-season stroke, pre-season part of the game before the new season begins. And what I want to do today is show you a few of the little things that I do as a lower league manager or non-league manager to make the game a little bit easier for myself when it comes to maybe getting players into your club or the coming season, if you don't have a lot of transfer money, don't have a lot of budget, um, to get a squad that can be competitive each and every single year. So, ladies and gents, let's jump in and do that. Okay, so it is currently the 25th of June. Um, we have just had our pre-season schedule, or schedule. Uh, arranged. Um, I wonder if we can get a little bit more going on this actually. Um, because I think there's a bit of room. There's definitely room for a fixture there. Who shall we get to come and play us? Hmm? Who wants to come and play us? Oh. Derby County. Nice home game. Derby County. They want 48 grand. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. You can't have too many pre-season friendlies, I don't think, in this level of football. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll arrange another friendly. Uh, why not? To Lincoln City. We'll have one there as well, shall we? Um, can we get any decent foreign teams to come over? Mm, not really. Smaller reputation teams, Boston Town, Mikulova. Um Salford City. Hey, should we play Salford? Let's have a game against good old Salford. There's a few, a few friendlies arranged there. It's always good to have friendlies. Right. So, here's our squad currently, okay? These players here are going to be leaving the club very soon because their loans are about to expire, which gives us a little bit of room in our, in our budget, um, in our squad. Um, here's our reserve squad. And again, there's a couple of players who are going to be leaving shortly. Um, Mitchell Henry's leaving. He's got a transfer arranged. Tyree Wilson's got a transfer arranged. Um, so there's a room in the reserve squad for some players. Uh, our under-21 squad is not looking fantastic. Our under-18s, on the other hand, is looking absolutely amazing. We've got some very good young players in this squad. Our wonder kids that came through in the last Juvinte absolutely fantastic can't wait for that okay so looking at the finances we're doing very better very better we're doing a lot better than we were at the end of the season no not no shortage of the fact that we've got one million seven hundred and seventy thousand uh from player sales this month <laughs> in june the end of the season we've done well there that's really boosted us up nicely. Uh, we've got about 10 grand or so in the wage budget. The scouts are happy they've got their budget. So I can start thinking about maybe getting some um, 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 club, some players in for the new season. But my strategy is always the same. I 
Okay. My strategy is always the same when it comes to doing pre-season, especially with a non-league club or a lower league club. And I will show you what that is. We need to get to the 1st of July, ladies and gents. And excuse me while I hydrate. It is incredibly warm again today on this Monday as I record this video. So, got to, obviously he's on. He's one of our low. He's our loan goalie that's about to leave the club. We've got nine loans ending. We've got four reserve contract player contracts ending, and we've got a couple of other loans at ending, and a couple of players leaving the club. But the reason I want to get to the 1st of July is because the 1st of July is the absolute best day, okay, um, for a club of our level. It's the best day in the calendar, the football calendar, honestly. Even better than you think take day. Because on the 1st of July, what happens is all the players for every single club in the country that haven't had okay their uh, contracts um renewed leave okay they all leave their clubs they're released and basically we can go through that list and offer trials or oh, that's what i do some people might do it a bit different some people might just Ask their scouting team to go and get scout reports on all the release players. However, I find myself that it's best to offer them trials. The reason being, if you offer a player a trial, you're already starting to form that good relationship bond with them. Which means, after a couple of weeks of them being on trial, where you've had a chance to... Um, analyze them see their attributes see whether they're up to standard or not at that point you can make them a contract offer and you're already kind of in the good books with them you know you're already kind of in their little you know you've got a chance of signing them okay whereas if you just offer yeah, go and ask for a scouting report that doesn't tell the player anything. That doesn't let the player know that you're interested in them. And that you you want them. So um, I'd prefer to do trials. So I'm looking forward to the 1st of July because I want to see what that list is of release players this year. Like I say, I'm keen to get a goalkeeper. Having let two go. <laughs> And um, a third one leaving because his loan's finishing. And um, his parent club won't um, extend the offer. Um, I'm not accepting any offers for my players. So, everybody feel free to do one. Okay. Alan Maguire. There's a lot of players who are very interested in loans. 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 Loans should be your friend at this level of football. Without a shadow of a doubt. Hmm. Christopher Dwyer. For a start, I like you because you've got a sensible name. First name. Okay. Very sensible first name. Um, yeah, these are the sort of players we want to be going for for loans. I don't necessarily know if I want to pay twelve grand a week wages, but you never know. We might be able to get somebody to come in. There might be a club that just wants a player to go and get experience of playing regularly in a competitive environment. And um, they're not worried about picking up the way you picking up the wage bill, um, which is fine, which is great. That's what we want at the end of the day. If we can get a you know Premier League club to loan as a goalkeeper and pay his wages for the year, spot on. 
Um, good thing is we're not getting all the riffraff being recommended now. Looks like our scouts are learning that I don't want C and D rated players being recommended to me. Because <laughs> we don't want C and D rated players, do we? Right. So a couple of days to the first of July, and that's like I say, where we get into really the preseason work, because that's where we get all the offers for trials and basically we just want to be looking at trial players we want to use them we want to play them in matches because um we get to know about them a lot better okay that'll do Um, no, game. We, um, we don't have any issues with players. The game glitch a little bit. And I've noticed this before. For some strange reason, okay, um, when we get our youth intake and we get these lovely, nice um, youth players, we obviously have them on contract until they're like 18 or whatever okay until they're adults um but for strange reasons that i don't understand clubs make contract offers to those players okay and i thought it was because they were trying to steal them they were trying to do like a chelsea or you know something scumbaggy like Chelsea, um, and basically convince players to sign for them um, at the end of their youth deal, so that we basically lose out on any money. Um, that's not the case, because what happens is every time, despite all these, cl these clubs offering the player a contract, the player always, always rejects those contracts i don't need to panic and go like i have done in the past um and offer the player new contract because they don't sign it because they're locked into the youth contract okay however it seems like somewhere in the game code things go a bit glitchy and you end up with issues like this where lee shaw thinks i've let one of these under 18 players leave the club they've not left the club they're still here they're going nowhere okay they're going nowhere right don't want to make any promises code of conduct's been done Excellent. Everybody's fairly happy. Right. I love it. I love managing a happy club with happy players. Makes my life so much easier. Does. <laughs> I also love the fact I've got all these pre-season friendlies lined up. I don't know if we're going to make any money from any of them. I hope we will. Be nice. So today's the day that all the contracts expire or renew. So tomorrow's the day we get to find out who all the um, released players are. And that's when I go to work, ladies and gents. That's the bit that you don't normally see in these videos, which is why I'm recording this video today. Yeah. 
He's finished. He's finished. Um, no. We've let three players leave. These are the players whose contracts expire at the end of this season. Um, slightly worrying. I thought um, Big Greg was in that list. Maybe I was wrong. We'll delay the decisions for now. We don't need to make any massive, massive uh, ropes uh, for that one. Right. Um, Greg's staff player scout contract expires. Right. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, we need to have a word with Greg, see if we can get that to um, sort out. And then we've got a bunch of uh, under 18 types. Uh, we might have to renew some of those, but we've got a, we've got a season. A bunch of players who have come back. And we've got the scouting report for Derby County. Excellent. Right, let's get to the 1st of July and I can do the uh, important bit. Oh, I can do the really good bit then with the try lists and the expunged players. I'm just eating my apples to get my nutrients. <laughs> it is lunchtime, ladies and gents. For me. Right, he's gone. Welsh Michael Owen has gone. Uh, finances are pretty good. Yeah. Um. No. Get all transfer offers. Easy. <sighs> Yeah, we'll let him go. Um, if they can offer you full wages, Jared, I will um let you go on loan just to stop me getting bloody hassled. You know, hassled. Bye. Um. Forbes wanting to loan him. <laughs> Clubs in England release players. This is my favourite email. Of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Hmm. Doesn't look very impressive at the minute, does it? Well, we click onto this tab, and suddenly we've got a whole list of all the clubs in England who have released players. Hmm. So typically, start at the top of the list, work your way down. So, all these Arsenal players offer four week trials to all of them. Uh -huh. Not so bothered about Villa.
work down the list. Now, if you wanted to, if you're really at the um, bottom of the table, like, you know, Grantham in real life and in the first season of the game, you can, by all means, go and make offers for a lot of these players. Oh, I didn't mean to click on you. Okay. You can, you know, you can go for the championship players. You can go for League One players. You can go for League Two players. I just like to aim a little bit higher than that, you know. So we're looking, obviously, next. C. And we would like to offer. All trials to all of those players. That's Chelsea. Right, we'll go down the list a bit more. Um, not everybody on will accept, obviously, a trial. Some of these players will not want to. Um, come to the club. But. At the end of the day, it's a chance for us. It's some um, potentially very good players for free who have experience and training at a high level. Oh, I'm just getting tired of scrolling. Maybe I can do it with this. It's quicker. Use the keyboard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's Grantham. There's our players that we got rid of. So who's going to be next? L. It's probably going to be Liverpool, isn't it? <laughs> Spit on Liverpool. Dirty Scousers. Right. Next after Liverpool will be... Man United. That ah, we're talking about some really good players. Oh, Zidane Iqbal. Ahmad Diallo. Charlie Savage. Oh, my God. There's some players there already. That I would like to have in my team. Um, Man Cities of this world. Would you like to offer a trial for four weeks? Hope I didn't add anybody there as transfer targets by mistake with a misclick. Um, I'll tell you who's quite good in the save now. Newcastle. So, offer a trial. Um... Forest? I don't think they're pretty. They're not very good. Um, probably going to be Spurs next, isn't it? Same thing. Sometimes it, it skips back on itself. I don't know why it does that. Spurs. Did Spurs not release anybody? Only one. I mean, not all these players. Like I say, I'm not even looking to see if these players have got any star ratings or anything. Um... They'll go for West Ham because they normally are in Europe. Um, that's probably it. As far as our wonderful trials for this year, we'll see who accepts. Um, where's my phone? Because it keeps beeping at me. Whilst we wait for that.
Dun, dun, dun. Right. 62 emails, ladies and gents. Oh dear. Have I got too many players? I offer trials to too many players. You can only do 30 at a time. I'm going to do Diallo. Oh, yeah, I will have Diallo. I'll have Iqbal. I'll have Savage. I mean, that's the main thing. As long as we get all the, all the, all the Man U boys. And Stuart. Liverpool man. Tell you what, we might have a pretty decent reserve team. Goalkeeper, nice. Hmm. I mean, I must have got Tony Cross, wouldn't it? <laughs> Right, <laughs> looks like that is the bulk of it, is it? Yeah, they've finished. Doesn't actually look all that like we it doesn't look like we've got thirty trialists, does it, me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 30, 14, 15, 16, 17. We've only got 18. What's going on? Game. I thought tr trials were cancelled because we had 30. Too many. We'll go back and look at that again in a minute. I might be able to go back in for the Arsenal and Chelsea players, maybe. Because we've only got 18 on trial. And I could definitely do with a couple more. Looking at some of these stats. Yeah, you can definitely go on loan then. Um, right. Uh, inbox, inbox, inbox. Clubs in England. 
clubs in England release players? That was the one, wasn't it? Oh dear, there's not a lot left on the list. I think we've probably missed out there. Eh? We did. First time it's ever, like, really broken on me that but that's the first time i've offered that many trials to that many players in one go <sighs> suppose we ought to at least play one friendly in this video didn't we now <laughs> now we've got these players in um, and we can have a bit of a look at them i mean iqbal diallo I definitely want to sign those. Um, see. see if we can get any more. Hmm. That's what I should have done. Uh, we'll scout that. Um, what I should have done was add all the players from the club, the Premier League clubs to a short list. I should have created a short list of the released players. And then I should have offered trials from there. And I could have kept track of them then. Couldn't I? Hmm. Right. Friendly against Derby to kick things off. With our trial players at the club. Can't believe Diallo's been released by United. It's crazy. For a player we paid over 36 million for in real life. Um, no, and no. Who's Elliot Evans? Free agent. Was he one of the, uh, yeah, Man City boys? Moving on low. Very good. That pays for his fiver a week. Fiver a week wages. Taken care of. Right. Let's play Derby in a friendly. Then we can um, all run out and enjoy lovely times. Right, the pitch we go. Nice pre-season friendly against Derby County. Let's go, boys. I'll just uh, mute that because it's a bit on the right-hand side. My t uh, monitor. Mm. 
Ooh, there's a few fans here. Not a full house by any means, but it's a, a clear change in approach. That's well played. Get on the front foot. Good purposeful running. Place it into the box. Timely intervention. Another fantastic save. Needs support. Have the ball again. Starting to find rhythm. This is quite a run. He's on the move. Wilkes hits the post. Come on, Ben Lloyd. Goes back. Mengi. There are 4,803 fans in attendance for this pre season game. 4,800 at the Mears. Where would they all par? In comes the delivery. Sharing after that one. Just needs support to arrive. And they're on him in a flash. Now, where's he looking? Down the right hand side. They'd be in the club car park. They'd be in the leisure centre car park. They might even be in some overspill into the Gala Bingo out. car park now, but that's not being used. Well seen. Still, 4,800. That's Good a little squeeze in our little ground. Imagine the queue at the gingerbread club. For a burger. Oh, Derby fans. Fired in. <laughs> Disappointing in the end there. Level at him. Sharp movement there. Crucial block in there. Play with a nice shot of smoothness. Wilkes. Come on, Wilkes. Great play. Davies. Kelly Alley. Goes back. Go, Brian. Something here played out to the right. Nod. Driven towards the far post. Brian. And again, they are again oh. the crossbar. Oh, red. Nice interception. Needs to be good here. Turns back here. Probably Robinson. the best option. No. no, it's pre season friendly, and you can't read much into friendlies, but we're having a decent number of shots. We're not getting any on target, but... <laughs> Having a fairly steady game out there. Half-time. Right! Shall we mix things up a bit, lads? Right. Hmm, Ben Lloyd. Matthew Smith. Paul Seal, Charlie Savage. Sure for Morgan Rogers. That's three changes. I'm going to bring Dallow on the second half. Wilkes. Well 
largely untroubled. And go again now. Oh, Penalty. Shorey will take it. Come on, Shorey. Give that black and white army something to cheer for. I saved it. Always oh, missed it. No. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Right, 65 minutes. Let's make a few more changes then. The Arlo for Wilkes. Dylan Williams for Delhi Alley. Will Fish for Bango. Harvey Vale. Bernard. Fender Left would be nice, wouldn't it? the goalie right let's go floated through tries to flick it down Keen to get going here. Threads one through. This is where having a big Greg in the team would have been nice. Saved it. Surely that deserved better. Tried one. Oh, smart Do we even have on our bench? Clayton Stewart, 5'11", don't know about him, I was going to say, did we have anybody who could play target forward, the answer to that is simply going to be no, we've not picked any target forwards. For this one, we didn't pick any target forwards, ladies and gents. <sighs> what we can do, though, we can, and we can. Will Boyle for Mengi. That's a move we can make. Um, we also, do that one. We might not be getting a lot here. Get some fresh legs on though. Hoisted towards the area. Ooh, yeah, that might have been Derby's chance to steal me. that yeah, right that at the end. To get right. and that's full time, ladies and gents. Alright, need significant improvement. But that's not bad, because obviously the team's going to be very disjointed with all these trial players. So we sh can't really expect results while we're mixing and matching things and having a look at these lads. And obviously, sure, he should have scored the penalty there, so we should have won that game. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this look into how I conduct pre-season. And what I'm going to do now is obviously I'm going to play through a few of the friendlies, get a couple of weeks down the road. I'll have a look at the trial players nearer the end of the four-week trial period, and then I'll offer contracts to the ones I want to, the ones I don't want, 
we'll just let go at the end of the four weeks. And then if we still have any areas that I'm not happy with, then we'll go to the scout reports and see what the scouts are recommending and um, maybe look at getting some loans in before the season starts. Well, that's my plan, ladies and gents. So hopefully I will see you all back here for the next video in a few days time. From me, CY, bye for now, everybody. Thank you.